Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we will be enabling or creating a budget alert or a billing alert, whatever it is. I think it's budget alert. So since we are going to learn about Google Cloud Platform and since we are using our free credits and the free tier, we don't want to end up paying too much. Um, but accidentally you might be creating certain resources and forget to delete it and I don't want you to spend too much money um, accidentally without without knowing okay so it's always a good practice even when i started the aws uh learning series the first and i think in the first couple of first couple videos uh i mentioned about creating a billing alert uh so that you get notified when you when you're over your certain limit okay so that's what we will be looking in this video so in your google cloud platform um go to billing and uh, because you've created it for the first time you can see there's a certain action that you can take recommendations and view all health check that says set up budget alert and you can create a budget here or you can go to uh, billing budgets and alerts it's going to take you to the same page create budget yep so now it's uh, at this page and you can also go to the overview it's again going to take you to the same page view all health check and you haven't set up budget alerts for this billing account okay so account management so you've got your account management billing account and you have so that's your billing account and the billing account is linked to these two projects by default you can create multiple billing accounts and attach uh, a different billing account to different projects uh, but for me i've got just one billing account and i've attached it to um, both the projects just me testing and just me production okay so let's go to budgets and alerts let's create our first budget name of the budget let's say uh, GCP learning okay so projects you can uh, create a budget per project uh, you can create a budget for a group of projects and so on so for me as we created our projects in the previous video and I'm going to select all I want to apply this budget uh, collectively to the uh, to all the projects and uh, all products okay if you want you can specify any particular product uh, you can create budget uh, for for example you can create budget for uh, compute engine which is where is compute engine yep yeah. so if you select uh, you're just selecting one product out of 241 products you're creating budget just for the compute engine but i just want to create a budget for everything all 241 products so all the projects all products i'm creating this budget i'm giving it a name gcp learning next amount so specified amount are based on the uh, um, uh, spend for the previous month so i'm going to say specified amount let's say uh, 10 pounds depending on your currency uh, you set up during the uh, uh, account creation you will see the currency here so for me it's uh, pound sterling and I'm setting the target amount to be 10 pounds include credits in cost yes next actions okay so we get uh, notified at three points one is at 50% when uh, the threshold crosses 50% so we've set the uh, threshold to be 10 pounds right so when it crosses 50 percentage which is five pounds you will get one notification and when it's close to or when it crosses 90 percent which is nine pounds you will get another notification you've got some uh, time to act on it okay so it's not like you just get one notification when it crossed like 10 pound uh, threshold so at 50 percent at 90 percent and when it crossed 100 percent and you can add threshold if you want okay so manage notifications you should be getting uh, notifications when you uh, when your expense is going when you're spending more than the amounts that you have specified here okay so finish and budgets and alerts that's there budget type is specified amount applies to this billing account trigger alerts at 50 percent 90 percent 100 percent and you can see here um, we've set the threshold to be 10 pound we are not using it we are not using any at the moment and you can see the bars here okay so that that's a simple thing that i wanted to show you before we start exploring the google cloud platform all right thank you so much for watching i will see you all in my next video bye bye